That's why I have such respect for the Better Business Bureau. They're trying to clean the rest of us they up, do, aren't you, Steve? They do the I'm history. I'm trying to. Yeah. I'm trying one day at a time. Steve Burness is president and CEO of the Better Business Bureau. Chicago and Northern Illinois, it's a big job. How many years now? Just 36. Yeah. Wow. He just got out of probation. <laughs> Just got out. Yeah. <laughs> Wait for the next 36. We have a long probationary period. All right, we got spring break scams? It happens every time, Steve. Is, uh, people are starting to prepare. We want consumers to know that there's uh, scammers out there trying to take advantage of the situation. Because every uh, time they, I would enter a wet T-shirt contest, they said I had to pay to get in. <laughs> I wonder why. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. But what, how, how are they scamming people? Basically, what they do is they create fraudulent vacation rental sites. You know, it may oh, look yeah. like an authentic site, and they just mm. have one character different. And they take pictures of or steal pictures of well-known sites. And there's always that urgency that you have to, you know, give us your credit card now to reserve it. And, and some actually ask for, uh, you know, some type of other payment than their credit card. And that's usually the tip-off to the rip-off when they ask for some other ways, you know, to pay quickly, you know, uh, because somebody else is going to uh, take the advantage of the offer or only a few left. And I think people get in trouble, Steve, was they don't prepare in time. They wait to the last minute. And that's why we're trying to give you an advance warning is, is start preparing for spring break now and in, in those vacation sites, because as it gets closer, uh, the, the good ones are filled up. And then that's what happens is the scammers take advantage of that. So uh, the best thing to do is, even if you are running late, is to go with a legitimate vetted verified person and if you can't afford the trip you can't afford the trip exactly but go to the website directly yourself don't click on those links or those pop-ups because you never know where those pops right. up, pops ups are going when you know you're searching for it those marketing experts follow you around and yeah. then they start throwing these ads at you and then before you know it, you're clicking on something you didn't want to yeah you got to do the research all right tax season we're in it we're ha it's happening right now so there are some irs and um tax scams we need to be aware yeah, of. and you know what we're going to need longer from him on this but give us a snack pack version of this sure basically what happens is people do file tax returns in your on your behalf and i think consumers don't realize the extent of the problem you know, tax payers lost about $5 billion last year to tax scams, according to the IRS. So it's important to protect your identity and your Social Security number at all costs. So if somebody calls you out of the blue saying they're from the IRS or something's wrong with your, your return, uh, make this, it's probably not the IRS. They don't call you. They don't answer their phone, so they're not going to be calling you directly. Uh, just go to the IRS gov that, uh, website directly and work with them on any tax issues. All right. And, and, and you know, voice search, um, everybody goes, well, this is cool. My phone can actually tell what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. It's a listening voice to search. And then, yeah. And then, of course, you get whatever you search, you get 12,000 ads in 10 seconds. But the voice search warning from you on any smart device is what? is don't look up phone numbers because you can dial up the dangerous site. Uh, we've seen that time and time again in our scam tracker. We had a recent report of somebody using Siri, do you look up United Airlines? And they actually got a different yeah, person, uh, mm -hmm. different airlines or different number, and basically they took their credit card number, charged it, and never gave them the refund wow. of the comments. So you're trying to go convenience, or you're driving in your car. Yeah, you're driving. You, you just go voice search, search then mm -hmm. you click on the number you get back, and you get scammed. Yeah, the scammers know how to manipulate wow. the search results, and uh, so you just got to be very careful if you're calling those numbers because it could be not be the person who you want to call. So don't try to save time. Wait till you get home. Look up the right number. Call the right person. Or pull off the exactly. side of the road. Exactly. A lot of people suck. You don't, Steve. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> all right. Well, you guys are nice enough <clears throat> to uh, tell me you've got an award for me. I do. We have an award for you. We're giving the Diogenes Media Award Excellence in Media, Steve, to you That's for all deal. the years we worked together. Uh, it's our BBB's highest honor to the media world, wow. and we're giving this honor on March 20th. Uh, so we're very excited about the opportunity to present you this uh, terrific award, Steve, for all you've done for us. Wow. Congratulations, well, I am, Steve I am, Cochran. I am truly honored, and I look forward to being there. Who's going to be at this uh just festification. You. Just me in an just empty you. room. A couple of balloons. Just you all you by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> One little yellow balloon. I'm gonna go. Hey Steve, are you coming? No, I'm busy. No. I'm busy. <laughs> we have 700 people there, Steve. Our better business bureau is our 97th annual meeting. So wow. we have our board of directors and government officials will be there, and uh, 700 your friends as well, Steve. Oh, well, that's nice. And um, so can we? Uh, 
Is it, is this open to the public or is it sold out as soon as you bring it up? It's sold out, of course, because okay. of you, Steve. <laughs> yeah, well, I figured as much. I am the Taylor Swift of uh, Better Business Bureau supported media. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, I, I truly am honored and I appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you then. But that's very nice of you. But we do need to have you back, not just for the general scam information, but tax, tax. scams in particular. Sure. I'd love to come back. There's so much more to it. Yeah, 100%. All right, Better Business Bureau. We got a question about a company. You got to know something you want to report. You got anything related to doing it right by business. What do you do? You got to head to BBB first before you buy or hire BBB it and go to our website, BBB.org. All right, thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Take care.